Hi all, I'm doing a video of um, a Caravan International 181 motorhome. Um, we discovered this not long ago, um, accidentally, as I lifted the blind up. The blind pulled away from the wall. Uh, and I'm just going to show you what we found, which is pretty depressing. We've had the motorhome for 11 years. Um, <clears throat> The I've had a quote and I thought it was a little bit steep. Um, there's some damage a bit further down as well, so it's been leaking for some time. And I can guarantee there's not just me out there who are suffering with the same problem. And the trouble is, it's so expensive that if you can see the white just behind that is now the outside the aluminium and this is where I don't know right so the idea is is this panel in which is three three ply with sticky back plastic on the top okay um, I was quoted for two sheets of four by well, I presume the four by th so seven by fours um, I was told were £340 for the pair plus VAT. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. So I've been away, done a bit of research, and I found these panels, which have got to be replaced because they're damp, but you've got to, the idea is you've got to get a chisel behind here. I know it looks a bit messy when you see this, but it's the, I've been told it's the only way to do it and gently chisel all this away and then replace the new panels after you've put new wood in but the trouble is this part here that's aluminium and it's bonded to the aluminium and I've asked and asked and asked and I've been told the only way is to gently ease it away with a knife so I'm going to do a video of my own repair because I cannot afford to get it done uh, especially at roughly nearly £1,700 and I was like, no way, no way. And the parts, I think, I've added up, would cost a maximum of £100. The panels come pre-coated in this laminate stuff, this sticky back plastic, and they are £20 each. 22, we have 20 to £22 pound each, plus there'll be delivery, I expect. A new rubber seal will cost about maximum £30, which comes with the because if you look at the old one it's pretty rough and when i said to me going to replace the old seal they said no no we'll put the old one back on that's not happening that's 600 six, well nearly 1700 pound well, i'll put the old seal back on no and this is a nightmare this stuff but it's the best there is i believe so a new seal will cost round about 30 quid max okay the bonding agent which you need then to bond these boards back onto this and onto the wood is four pound a tin so a couple of tins of that probably and then I bought some more um, CV sealant or it's called I'll, I'll show you what it is I'll give you the I'll give you the I the the email address as well and I'll give you all the stuff that I've bought and I'll do a, a, a day by day when I'm doing it I'm starting the weekend of um, how I'm doing it and what I'm doing and it'll be a big insight because I've looked and looked and looked and there is nowhere on the internet except they call them RVs in America and the wood behind is these battens polystyrene and it just it seems to have all fallen off and it doesn't seem to be bonded the same way these are so and this is a piece I've took out and it's dried now so if it dries I think it's alright and you treat it it will be okay but you know, it's only held together with a couple of staples, so I want to do a better job. So I'm going to do it myself. Okay. So this is the first video. Um, so I'm looking about. I'm I'm thinking to talk a maximum of a hundred pound parts. That includes everything: the sealant, the seals, the boards, the window seal, the solvent to stick it all back to the bonding agent, everything. So, but I'll give you a list of everything I've got, and I'll video it, and you can see for yourselves and I'll keep you posted and it'll be on YouTube. Okay, thanks for watching.
<laughs> here's the next installment which is really spooky first of all to get these cupboards down is a bloody nightmare because the cupboards are fitted before the roof is put on and how I know if you can look at that see that little bit of beading around the edge okay that beading goes all it's con continuous it doesn't stop so if you imagine it's on the top of that if you can see that so what I've had to do I just had to snip just where they join okay all of them I had to snip that one there all right to get the cupboards down it is a, I'm not joking a nightmare and this is what we found now I started going down to the metal very carefully all right so this is polystyrene this is the aluminium on the outside so yeah, it's pretty bad and if you can look there's a hole there there's one there now this is where the screws are anyway which are hold the rear panel on at the back which is because there's a joint of metal at the back here but they haven't sealed them properly and you can see it's rotten it's been coming in so yeah I'm breaking it so if anybody, <laughs> if anybody else thinks of attempting this it's doable and what we've got to do you've got to get this down to polystyrene I'm just using a knife at the moment and up here is okay and there's another beam here so hopefully when I reach that it should be dry or we can dry that out and then I can treat it so I hope that's what I'm banking on and then I'll just replace one panel of 7v4 ply um, and the place you get it from is O'Leary's O'Leary's motorhome spares they do self builds and everything okay um, so I'm gonna get a new seal um, and they come inside if you see that yucky stuff well they come with that in there pre-done so all you do is fit it yourself but I think I've got quite a bit of work to do yet but oh well it's better than £1,600 isn't it I think so what I'm going to do now is just keep going back with this and all I'm doing is I'm, sorry I'm using this for now and I'm just very gently just very gently easing it away you see how rotten it is see and I'm just sorry you can't see just getting down just gently touching it I'm going to get all this clean and then I'll buy some more bonding a new piece of wood and we'll put a new piece of wood from right from the far end, I've got to get this cupboard out yet, yeah, this has got to come out and I'll put a new piece, oh it might be good alright no, no that's not good, you can see the knife going in that's got to come out, so okay it's getting better there, so we'll see and then I'll have to put a new piece in and bond it so truthfully it's a bloody nightmare and I am bricking it but like you say, we can't afford it. Okay, next instalment when I get a bit further. Cheers. Okay, this is about an hour later than I spoke to you before. And I'm right now, I've took, I'm down to, if you see here, this is the aluminium. And it's not a bad job, really. We've got some screws, which are holding the window on, so tomorrow I'll take the window off. Um, and this is just, this is all right, really. It's coming off. It's a pain. Uh, it's rotten back to about here so I'll take all that back and then I'll put a new piece in there and then bond it that's the idea you've got to bond new wood to the aluminium so there's two pieces one here for the window frame and then there's a small no there's no gap actually and then there's a big piece up here about three inches so you've got one and a half by three and it is tricky but it's doable honestly you know just using all I've used is a cheap knife okay and I'm just when I get to these pieces just gently it sounds bloody horrendous but you know I was told this there's no secret behind it you just have to keep persevering and every single hole 
here, there's one there. So where the batten was battered on the outside has leaked. That's why it's bloody rotten. Someone's done a sh crap job. Okay, keep you posted. And I'll start ordering me bits as well on Monday. Cheers. And we have to take all the trim off the back. Show you that. I'm going to get this mastic off. On the back of the motorhome was this little strip first, which was held in with two little screws at the end. And just there, you can see that. So take them out and then pull the strip off. And that revealed these two plastic pieces, starting from that end. And each one has got a screw hole in it with screws, and the screws were rotten. So, whether to put this back on yet or get some new trim, I don't know. But first of all, the goal, so I've got to get this mastic off the back. And this is pretty sticky stuff, I've got to admit. This is just wood I've took. This hasn't come off, it's off the inside. So I'm going to clean these up and see what they're like. Um, or might even buy some new. And then, <clears throat> this was a bugger to get off. Because I had to grind... Sorry, I had to grind some of the screw holes, not through, just the heads off, and then force it off. So it's got a slight, it's not a kink in it, just a slight, but it'll go back because the amount of screws. But I've got to get the mastic off that as well and put some new stuff on. And this stuff is really sticky. The leak, I'm not too sure. It seems it's partly through this, going through the screw holes, because the wood is absolutely rotten. And the window, and the, the window seal didn't fit properly. And if anybody says to you, like when I had a quote, they quoted um, for this, that, and the other, and I said, right, a new seal. Oh, no, we'll use the old one. No, you bloody well won't. It's, it's only 30 quid for a new seal, which comes pre-bonded, like I said before. So, and it's got to be fitted tight. I don't think mine were fitted in the corners properly, and that's where she was leaking. So I'll get back to you. Sunday morning, still playing. I've just done a video about the outside. Um, I just thought I'd show you if I can, what I'm doing. Knife. And all I'm doing is this. And it's painstaking without trying to damage the aluminium. So you mustn't go through. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. And this is what I've been told. It's the only way you can do it, and it's raining now as well. So I'm going to spend a couple of hours in here now. If you, if you imagine now, this is polystyrene. This is the aluminium. So I've got to get this right down like this, clean, ready for the new bonding. But I can't do anything with these nails because I've still got the window on. So I've got to take the window off. And then a friend of mine, next door neighbour actually, I can show you. I was just... Oh, what have I done with that? Here we go. <clears throat> he made it himself years ago. It's an old flat trowel. And the idea is... Because we're going to get the old one, even though it's quite good. This is like... A tricky bit. We're going to free it off. So... break it away. Sorry about the camera, I'm trying to hold it with one hand. And this is the only way you're going to do it. But I've got to admit, that's a good bit of kit. This will speed things up a bit. See, I don't think they show you this in any videos, so just slide it down the back. Slide it down the back. And I can't wait to put this back on again because it's so depressing <laughs> doing this. I'm like, oh, come on. But it's got to be done. But everything else is okay above. So I'm really chuffed with that. Okay. I hope this video helps somebody else because 
I tell you what, it's a, when you start, it is a bloody nightmare. So I've got now the only thing, the only bonus is, which raining now, but the only bonus is the bottom is okay. So I'm going to put a new piece of ply on the top. But this, yeah, if anybody wants to buy one of these, you can contact me and they're 700 quid. <laughs> what a tool. It's an old trowel cut down. There you go. That's simple. Nice and thin. See? So it slides between the ply and the polystyrene, which you've just seen me do. Cheers. Updated. Okay. Slide continues. We've got almost all the rotten wood out now. So we're using just my knife. And now my lad is... You can see, just show them the tat tool, Andy. Just a, a solid chisel. But also with the other one, we use that. So, yeah. Because just please. Very good, very good. Okay, this is day four. I wouldn't say solid day four, but day four. My lad's been giving me hands, so you can see how we're getting on. And honestly, it looks worse, but doesn't it? It's actually a lot better. Okay. A bit of rot in the corner, but it's all right. I'll sort that. These are going to be dumped. Tools we've been using is... Best tool of all. Good thick. Okay. Wind right. That's pretty straightforward. And what we did was just um, unscrew the screws on the outside, lift the wind drop, pull it on. We found as well there was hardly any mastic or bonding on the window, so that's where it's been coming as well. And we also found the ladder. That's come off as well. I've took that off because we don't use the ladder. It was pouring in through there as well. Okay, I'll show you how we progress. Thank you. Okay, now on the outside of the camper, if I can show you, we've got plonkers, multiple screw holes for where the window connects. So it's been off before by the look of it. This vehicle's only done 5,000 miles when I bought it. It looks like someone who had it before me couldn't drive. So now I've got to fill all these holes in which we're going to use aluminium filler and also I think we're going to put some bonding compound underneath this because it's not been bonded properly okay and you can see the ladder's missing now I've took that off That's, we don't need it and I'm going to put filler in them as well uh, next to get rid of the rest of the frame of the window measure it and then new mastic and I'll put a link as well, because I've found a leak on the internet that shows you how to put the rubber on properly, which is really interesting. So I'll drop that on there as well. Okay, catch up. Is it ready? So I'll just show you what, how we're getting this out without damaging it. This is quite tricky. Okay, this is how we're doing it. Carefully. Because you don't want to damage the aluminium outside. And this is how I'm doing it, it's very, very gently. I'll tell you, this is the best tool. Just gently. Ease it away. Bring them down a bit more. Okay. Yeah, after a bit of debate, I've been checking the bottom of the window, which I thought I was going to leave. It's absolutely soaking. And that means a lot of drying time. So I'm just going to show you how I am doing it. Okay, just very carefully. So you can see this all right. Yeah. Okay, not too much. A little bit. Okay, just getting not too near the aluminium. Okay. Pull it away. I mean, it's pretty rotten. It's a bit drier over the far side, so so just in. It does go 
away quite easily. It's pointless doing all this work and leaving this. So. And uh, you can see the aluminium behind. This is what I've done. I think you've seen this, but I've started clean, clean, clearing it up. It's a bit in the corner which I'm going to get out. See there. There's a bit more to come out of there. But now I've started cleaning the aluminium up. And if you're careful, yep, I'm using. The chisel, I've sharpened it, and I'm using it just gently, just to get the old glue off. No pressure, a little bit slow, but as you can see, it's doing the job. And I mean, I've done that in about an hour. So that's not far off, uh, ready for the new wood. Got a bit, of, bit to gouge out here. It's dry, but a bit to come out. And that's sort of quite hard there. So you could just use wood filler. Because that's dry and solid. So that's up to yourselves. But anywhere else. So hopefully this weekend, It'll be time to um, start putting the new wood in. Okay. Hi Arthur, so I'll just give you an update. So far, we've got off near enough all the rotten. Just that corner to do there. A little bit there. This wood here is, is fine. It's just stained. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. There's a little bit in the corner here, which I've got. I've started replacing the new timbers. Not bonded yet. Okay, we've got the old stuff, got this little bit here to take, take off. Mate's borrowed me some clamps. This is a piece I've cut using um, the first piece I mocked up. And I um, used a jigsaw to get that, which <laughs> took a lot to do. But it's almost spot on, so I'm just going to sand it now. And that'll be, that'll be it. Um, just sharpen some more chisels, it does make it a bit easier. I've had these years old, they only cost about I think a tenner. And I'm using this one which is what makes life a lot easier just to get the, the rest off. Okay, and then when I start assembling I'll film it again and also look at the outside. It's got this bit here, I've got that screw to take out. Okay, I've got a new piece to go in there and then we'll bond that. And I've got some aluminium filler. I've took the ladder off because it was leaking through the ladder. It was also leaking we found out, well I think I've told you, multiple holes and someone hasn't put the window on properly. This is from new virtually. We had 5,000 miles on this vehicle and this is what it had been put together like at the back. Everywhere else is okay. Okay, so hopefully I've got my bonding coming tomorrow and my window seal is coming tomorrow. I'm not going to put that yet of course. And then we've got another piece of wood to be planed which is going to be the whole length of that. And I'll show you how I get on and then put it back together. Okay, thank you. Hi, just another catch up. Um, all the old wood has now been removed and I've started replacing the new wood. I haven't bonded it yet, I've just measured it. And what I've done, I've took these planks, um, got them planed down with a mate of mine to 27 mil, uh, which is the distance, if you can see that, that was the distance between there and there. 27 mil and then allow for the um, ply on the top with the fascia and that takes it about 30 mil which is then a new window seal and what I did with these I just measured them up as you can see okay a bit worried but it's quite straightforward measured them up and then used a jigsaw allowed Plenty of space, so I drew a line, so I put the wood up, as you've just seen. Went on the outside, drew a line from the outside with a fine marker. 
then took it in the garage, put it in a vice like that, held it in the vice, well, in stages, and then just used a jigsaw, giving plenty of room across this side of the line, so you're allowing. Cut it all nice and slow. If you go fast with the jigsaw, the blade will bend and you'll get an uneven. It looks a little bit at the moment, but it's not bad. It's actually virtually spot on. And then just a little hand sander when it's been block bonded, be fine. Piece of cake. Saved myself £1,620. And so far it's cost me. I got the timber for nothing, which you can get, well, anyway, if you've got timber lying around. But even if you bought your timber, I think the whole job has cost me new rubber seal. I bought some extra bits for the camper that need replacing, but I'd say the job in hand, including the board, the fascia, the glue, uh, everything, is round about, I would say, about just over £100. Here we go. I haven't got my glasses on, so if you can see that, this is, this is the bonding glue, which I'm going to use to do the fascia boards. Uh, not the fascia boards, the, the wood board, the wood surrounding the windows. And the fascia boards as well. So I'm going to start gluing one now. Then I'll do the top one. But I've got a little bit of filling to do. Because I found there was a leak where the ladder was. So the ladder on the outside here. So I've took the ladder off. And leaving me a couple of holes. So what I'll do on the inside I'll aluminium fill them. And on the outside I'll use car body filler. And that's it really. And I'm going to start bonding and getting this in back together again. Ready for the weekend with a bit of luck. Uh, I suppose if if I was to do it again, now in knowing what I know now, it would only take four days, five days maximum, just taking your time. Yep. So I'll show you a bit later on once I start bonding. Okay. Okay, bought a piece of window put on, clamped until the glue squeezes out. I just, I just cleaned it off a little bit there just to show you anyway but take a few clamps okay next piece I've just filled the holes in with aluminium um, hardener well aluminium whatever is repair it's gone off already so that's next just nice piece of wood down here that's the next one okay just thought I'd give you another update the more information the better, save money. I've just done this with just a jigsaw. Okay, not glued in yet. But and I'm no craftsman. But these will be bonded in tonight with a bit of luck. So that to go in to bond. I've got one in the corner which I've just got pinned in there. Okay, and all I did was draw, put a piece, cut a piece this wider than the window, and then go on the outside, find marker again, follow the outside of the aluminium all the way down, drop it into a vise, and then jigsaw and just slow. I know because the blade will bend, so you've got to go really slow with it. Just take your time. And that's it. So, someone quoted me £1,600. I am so chuffed. If it's not glued yet, that will tally up properly. See? So, overall. And then I'll, when we start, I've ordered the rest of the stuff, which is the um, the laminate. Well, no, it's not laminate. It's uh, three ply to cover all this. Um, I've ordered the new aluminium strip that goes on the outside where the two metals meet, which is where it's leaked as well. Someone hasn't done it properly. Uh, that's not a bad price. New seal that's come. So I'll I'll do everything. When I do it, I'll show you how I put the seal on. And I'm I'm no expert, so I'm just going to show you that we can save. As DIYists, you can save a lot of money. Cheers. Hi, wallboard came today. Um, so I'll just sh show you just quickly what I've been doing. Because um, it's a little bit bigger, 7x4, uh, and the motorhome panel at the back is a bit smaller than that. 
so I've had to cut it down. So I've ordered a, a rail which is going to go on the back, which I need a new rail. So I'm using that as a rule and a guide. I'm going to put a piece of plank of wood underneath, and then I've used Mr. Favourite little jigsaw there to. I've marked it with a fine marker, and then use the metal rim and just follow that down. I did the same for the side, but I've also got a bike rack. So I went in and I measured. Where are we? The two holes there, and two holes there for the bike rack. So this should fit quite snug now. Um, and what I'll do now is take it in, match it up against the holes for the for the bike rack, put it up, and then go on the outside of the vehicle, and then draw a fine line around the window on the inside, take it out, bring it back in here, which I'll film again, and what I'll do then, I will cut at least a quarter of an inch more, so I'll leave a quarter inch more, and then you can't see underneath all the wires, that's a router with a um, a flat bit on here, so there's a bearing and then a, a cutting bit on the end of it. And they're, they're both the same size, so this will rest on the windowsill when I've when I've um, uh, stuck the, the panel, so when I've masked the panel against the inside, once it's dry I'll get the router after I've cut the window out and it's stuck, perfect, then I'll run the router around the inside of the window, so the bearing touches the woodwork, this will cut a very, it's very very fine, it's a bit messy but it'll leave a beautiful finish, it'll be exactly the same copy uh, when the window's cut out but I'll, I'll show you that when I've done it, okay? so we're um, getting towards the finish, cheers! I just thought you'd like a little bit more info um, with the jigsaw, when I've cut this all out, I've used um, a metal blade, very very fine metal blade, works a treat, just goes like through butter, very very nice. Uh, and then it doesn't leave any jags or or anything, it doesn't leave anything, it's smooth. And then what I do then, little baby hand sander, and just go around it and then it does, it just takes it down perfectly. So it's got a really good edge, so it should marry up quite nicely. Just I'll let you know what I'm using for tools as well, cheers! Morning, another update. Um, last night um, I started fitting this myself, but the mate did turn up and we could do with a hand for two of you to do this. Um, if you can see, I've put the two plates back in, holding it back in. This is the fascia board now on. And what I did, I put it in the garage. Um, I marked out the window, like I said, I was going to put the board against the, the outside. My daughter held it and I drew on the outside, inwards of course, a line around to match the window, then I popped in the garage, jigsaw, drilled a hole in one corner, uh, I put a metal blade in a jigsaw, a very fine blade, and it just went through butter, and I left about a quarter of an inch all the way round, if you can see, it's just slightly, there you go, there's about a quarter of an inch depth all the way round, and I might, I'll probably use a, a, a router on that, to get that off, but the clamps are coming off in a bit. Uh, and we pushed it against the side, we just used supports, not damaging them, it's only, it's only flats, okay. We wanted a bit of pressure. Uh, I, was, I was amazed the two holes that I drilled lined up perfectly, and the base because it sits on top of another one, the old one which is on there. So, I just used pieces of wood we got old frames that I cut out and then we just glued her up. Need a little bit of beading and I put a little bit of um, there's a little slight gap at the top just here so I'm just going to run a little bit of beading of silicon just across the top. It's pretty tricky to do. Uh, that's the latest update. Today I'll be like I said right in the window taking all that out and then I'm going to put the rubber seal and I'll film that as well that will all go on YouTube okay so it's just showing you step by step and you know some but it's actually enjoyable so don't be scared if you're going to do it yourself it's a piece of cake saves a £1600 okay another quick update router the router bit is 
the bearing at the end is exactly the same as the width of the, of the cutting blade and if you put it flush against your wall unit this is what happens beautiful so I'll now just go around with the router all the way around I'll end up with that and that's ready then for the um, it's a bit thick of that 30, 30 should be 30 mil that should be or whatever it is 30 centimeters um, and that's ready then for the window rubber okay uh, this is this morning um, put the rubber seal on um, there's a YouTube clip uh, which I will link to this showing you the bloke how to put the rubber on it's pretty straightforward really we started off here you just pull them both apart push it down this this okay another update so far you'll probably think this is just this morning when I showing you the rubber this is the rubber piece of cake to fit really is easy I've got to staple it and then put uh, this round which spreads this and makes it really grip to the window you see the blinds back on the cushions back on at the back well, it's like a headrest windows back in I turn this is enjoyable and it's not as hard as what you think the hardest bit is finding all the screws put the cupboards back on again so one finished product nearly a few more screws a rubbing rail on the outside finished lovely back to normal piece of cake well enjoyable okay that rubber is easy to fit we were going to film it but I had to, my lad was just feeding it to me so we just cut it pushed it pulled them apart pushed it all around make sure it goes into the corners I have found one thing with caravans and motorhomes that for a quick build they put a square frame and no corners and what they do they use polystyrene how the hell can you staple to polystyrene so this is now wood solid so when we staple this it's not going anywhere okay thanks for watching